Hey everybody, welcome back. So today, I have to build a bunch of SDI cables. Um, and I thought, man, you know what would make this project take a lot longer and be more complicated? It would be to film it. So um, this is actually a video. All kidding aside, I'm kidding. Um, this is actually a video that I've been meaning to make for a long time. Um, there's, there's not a ton of information out there on, on making these cables and just part of the tools that you need, so I figured I'd make one. Um, so here at LM, uh, we use Canar cable. Uh, and going back to it, I, I don't know if it's Canary or Canar. Please just leave a comment below if you know the correct, the correct pronunciation on that. Um, so everything in, in that world is, is Canar. The cable's Canar, the tools are all Canar, the connectors are all Canar. So here's what you need. Uh, you need a cable stripping tool, which is this. This is the TS100E. You need a crimp set. Uh, that also includes a die uh, for the connector, and then you need the physical connector itself. So uh, I like to run these little back boots on there. Um, there's the uh, there's the connector that interfaces with the jack. There's the little compression ferrule that goes on the back, uh, and then there's the little needle that goes on the uh, the coax. So um, let's let's look at some of these tools. Um, so going with the cable. Um, we are using a 12G rated SDI uh, cable. It's a 75 ohm cable. It is called the L5.5C UHD cable. Um, and I'm going to just put some model numbers out here. Um, if uh, they're all in the description, so if you if you want to just you know uh, ignore my ramblings and, and and gratuitous part numbers, just check the description for all the tools that I have here below. Um, let's start with the stripper because that's, uh, that's the first thing. So the way that this works um, is that you stick the cable into the side of it like this. So it goes in the hole like this. I'm going to do this so you can kind of see it. And it goes in there. There's a little window that's right here. And then what you do is you close this. And then once you close it, uh, the knives actually puncture. So before I, I, I do this cable, let me show you how this works. OK, so looking at the, uh, the strip tool, uh, there are little, little set pieces that go right here. Uh, so you can adjust these uh, with these little torque screws that are right here. And if you're making a bunch of different cables, you can twist them like this. So I, ha I have this at the V star 5 CFB setting. I'm mostly saying that out to myself so that I remember. Um, you can twist multiple multiple dies in here, and they and they just click in. So basically, what this is doing is it sets the plunge depths of the knives. So there are three circular knives right here that plunge into the cable. So what they do is the first knife cuts the jacketing, uh, the middle knife cuts the, um, the insulator part uh, that exposes the central copper wire. Um, and then the uh, last one actually exposes the copper wire. So it cuts it in a staggered uh, one, two, three section. So what you're doing by this preset and then the fine tune adjustment with these set screws is setting your depth. So obviously, once you have a, a good depth, it, you know, it, it took me I don't know, maybe five or six different tries when I first got this to uh, to get my cable depth correct. Um, but you know, once you figure it out for your cable, you, you should, in theory, be good to go. There's a couple of parts and pieces that come with this. The instructions that come with this aren't, again, super clear, which is why I wanted to make this video. Um, but let me show you how, how I do it for this. So um, let's start by uh, stripping the cable. So what you do is you stick the cable in here like this, and you just twist it until it hits. There's a little window that's right here. So once it's in there, you grab this part right here. This, this has little fingers that lock the cable in place. And then you push this down until it clicks. And then while gripping this, stick your finger in here and just twist it a few times. So you can feel it kind of bite, and then I like to go the other way just one or two times just to make sure. So once it's done, while you're holding it with this hand, there's a little release, this little yellow button right here. Just click this. It opens. And then um, looking inside here, you can see how this works. 
So looking inside here, you can see that the cable is cut right here at the top, right there in the middle, and then here at the end. So what we're going to do is this stripper unit actually will take those, those insulators off. So all you have to do there is just close this. I lied. You don't close that because it'll interfere with the, uh, the blades. And then you just put the little yellow guy down here on the side and pull it out. And then you throw that really expensive uh, piece on the floor there. Um, don't do that, I dropped it. Um, and then your, uh, your cable's cut and good to go. So the way I have mine set is it's not cutting all the way through this shielding. So because of that, it, um, it, it leaves just a little bit of the, um, the, the jacketing. So you just have to pull that off. But anyway, uh, here's what it looks like when it's, uh, when it's really good and stripped. So looking at the end here, um, one thing that I like to do before I start building the cable is I like to just run my fingers along here um, and just make sure that there aren't any little loose uh, pieces of metal. And then the other thing is if you're looking here, there's this white insulator um, before you get to the, uh, the central wire. Um, I just like to make sure that none of the shielding is actually touching that. So uh, again, this one's stripped really, really nice. Um, so let's, uh, let's crimp our tip on here. So I suppose before we, we crimp the tip, uh, let's take a look at the, um, at the crimp tool. Uh, so this, again, is a, is a Canar piece. Uh, has our little LM uh, branded integration thing on there just so that uh, if anybody loses where it goes, they know it comes back to me. Um, so th this comes in two pieces. Uh, the crimp tool is a separate thing. And then this center piece right here, this is called a die set. Um, so th this top and bottom piece is actually what, what crimps the connector onto the cable. Now, you have to match the die with the connector. So, you know, if you're looking at it in terms of, of building out a rig, you need to come up with a cable, with a connector, and then with a crimp tool, and then that's going to be the same for everything that you do. So it's really important to do your research on uh, the parts and pieces that you have. Again, uh, I'll list all the parts that I have. That's what we use here at LM for everything, and haven't had a problem with it. So if you want to just copy, uh, copy my settings, you absolutely can. So um, there's two parts to this die. There's this part right here that uh, crimps the, the end connector on, that actually crimps it. At, and then there's a little part in here that crimps the little top piece on uh, that actually goes on the center copper conductor. Uh, sorry for not using uh, e extremely correct and or uh, technical names for these things. So let me show you how this works. So once you have your, your end crimped on here, uh, you need to build the cable in reverse. Now I should have put this little boot on first so I'm going to try to do this, and I'm going to do this from the other side so I don't mess up my shielding. Um, you don't have to use the boot. I just like them because you can get them in different colors. Uh, this one's just black for the sake of the example, but you can get them in a bunch of different colors. So what we'll do here is uh, we're going to take our little tip. This is going to go on here like that. And then what I like to do is take the uh, crimp tool and put it in just at a little bit of an angle. Now this is the tricky part. So once this is in there like that, all you have to do is squeeze it. And I, of course, grabbed the tool from a weird angle. And then it just crimps it on there, just like that. So I just like to pull it with my hands and just make sure that it's OK. Um, so let me show you this up a little bit, little bit more closely. So on this crimp tool, the top portion, the needle that goes into the, into the wire goes in this portion right here. So because this is very, very lightweight and it's only being held on with just you know hopes and dreams on the end of that cable, it can be very endlessly frustrating when you're building these cables because this wants to fall off. And it's super tiny and you will 100% lose them. In fact, they sell these as standalone parts because they're so easy to lose. You buy these in a 10-pack if you, if you get them outside of the connector. So what I like to do is just cock this, this just a little bit so that you're grabbing the end of the, um, there's a little lip on the end of this. Um, so as you're doing that, it, it kind of keeps it with pressure against there, and then you can, you can crimp it. Um, something else that I, I should have done uh, while doing this is I should have put this little ferrule on the end of it um, first, which I'm going to build the other side of this cable correctly, I promise. Um, so let's get that on there, and then we'll get this guy on. So what I like to do before I put that on is just make sure that this is as straight as 
as possible. And then I like to just give it a little rock. So that the shielding goes around the outside here. And this is always the tricky part. And it's about three times as hard because I'm trying to do this on film. So what I like to do is just pull this little collar up so that the shielding doesn't splay out too bad when you're pushing it on. Okay, and once this is together like this, you just take your tool here, hold it just like that, and just crimp it. So that takes a uh, circle and makes it hexagon. So because I built this cable wrong in the wrong order, I'm going to stick my boot on here so I don't forget. And this just slides up just like this. All right. So the other thing I like to do is just check this, make sure that it's on there. Uh, so let's build the other side, and I promise I'll, I'll talk less. Uh, oh, and the other thing is I always include pieces of heat shrink on, on every cable just in case somebody wants to label them. So just throw two pieces on there. Throw our boot on. I'll put our back piece on. Okay, so this is actually a good example where this shielding frayed a little bit, so I can take my flush cutters. Sometimes you get really lucky. The first one made me look like I actually knew what I was doing, which is nice. All right, we're going to put our tip on here, a little needle. I'm just canting this a little bit here. Okay, and there you go. There's your SDI cable. So, if you like this cable, um, all the parts list again is below, um, and you can buy this direct from me if you like. Um, happy to build them for you. All the different color combinations and things like that are available. Uh, there's a purchase link in the uh, in the description. But if you have any questions, happy to uh, happy to chat more. Um, just leave me a message in the comments. Anyway, bye. Thanks.